Uh, what's up everybody welcome back to selenix crypto good evening and uh welcome to this uh well <laughs> daily update pretty much for <laughs> for the last couple of days uh on matic uh, i mean i had to cover it look, look at this price uh, yesterday or, or last two days we dropped down from 1.2 all the way down to 80 cents and today uh, because of some more bullish fundamentals uh, went all the way up to uh, well 1.15 and again and and i think we'll get even higher uh, and so yeah i just wanted to cover the price cover the technicals uh, um, mostly and and then uh, yeah we'll also incorporate the fundamentals of course for those uh, i mean those that know me know that i always do that excuse me that the light is pretty uh, pretty bright but um, well we'll have to work with it it's pretty dark outside um, so first of all fundamentals uh, some news from uh, sam the, the, the so uh, well a continuation of the uh, of the FTX drama, and I didn't plan this. This is uh, good that it's right here. Um, so there was some. Uh, it's it's not about FTX US. FTX users are FTX US users are fine. Uh, FTX International currently has a total market cap value of assets slash collateral higher than clients deposits. Moves with prices. Uh, different from liquidity for delivery as you can state so they do have the uh, well the uh, well the, the the market cap value um, but they don't have the liquidity yet so that's uh, well that's bullish and bearish obviously i mean it's it's bullish because they do have it but in the end it's market cap value if, that, if, if you have to sell that it becomes less um, and why is that that they cannot uh, deliver that it's because it's mostly in, in probably tokens and it's still locked up all right, so it's waiting for that. Um, and hopefully, I mean, if, if the prices continue rising, that would actually be, be beneficial for FTX, right? So, so that's bullish. Well, it's, it's some more clarity. Uh, that's bullish, I think. But apart from that, inflation rate, way lower than expected. So that's economically, is, is that a, a very, very bullish. And apart from that, well, probably even, uh, the dollar index has, uh, with that, decreased significantly, which is very bullish for crypto too. And you can see, I mean, we probably had a massive bearish breakout because of the news. Um, it's just, I mean, we would have, uh, well, Matic has had a, had, a, had a massive bull run. We would even be more bullish with crypto uh, if it wasn't for the other fundamentals we had, w w which are still uh, bearish, all right? So you have to keep that in mind. But for now, we can actually become a little bit more bullish, depending on the developments of the whole FTX drama. So right now, if you take a look at Matic specifically, volume amazing. Um, you can see that we hit this uh, resistance level between 1.15 and 1.2. I think we can actually reach a little bit higher. Now, given the fact that the other fundamentals around the market are still too bearish, I don't think we'll break above 1.2. If we do manage to break above 1.2, great. We'll get up to 1.3 again. And we'll be back at the same levels before, before this whole drama, proving once again that Matic is insanely strong. Uh, it, it also entered the top 10, obviously, after the fall of Solana. Um, but yeah, I think it's more likely that we don't do something like this and that we'll actually drop down to like 1.1 and 1.05 again and that from there we'll consolidate and, uh, well, personally, follow the market. Um, so, so if Bitcoin actually recovers a little bit, I think Matic can also, uh, well, break above 1.2 and, and get back up to those levels we were at. Uh, but if Bitcoin stays low, I think Matic will just consolidate and maybe do something like this later because... Uh, Matic has some specific uh, fundamentals for itself that are quite bullish too. Uh, first of all, um, uh, the, the ZK EVM coming up. But apart from that, they also, uh, well, they tweeted out something um, about the, the Walt, Walt Disney Accelerator program that turns innovators' uh, dreams into reality. Um, well, that's pretty bullish because we don't know necessarily what that means. I mean, why would they retweet this, right? So probably the market is seeing this as something bullish and therefore something like this could happen. But um, still, as I said, because of the other fundamentals, I don't think it will happen. And I think it's more likely that we'll drop down and uh, follow the, the market or just consolidate and get up if we get some more bullish fundamentals for Polygon specifically. So if you do have any questions about the analysis, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.